Now, your Central Coast forecast from KSBW Weather. And welcome back. A good Saturday evening to you. I'm meteorologist Sydney Daniel filling in for meteorologist Gina DeVecchio and we'll go ahead and jump right to it. Temperatures right now sitting around the low 50s along the coast inland. We're sitting around 49 in Carmel Valley, 48 in Hollister. High temperatures today, about a degree or two higher in most places, but still some cooler areas. 52 in Boulder Creek inland, our high spot 66 over in Gilroy, 60 in Hollister. Along the 101, topping out at 65 in King City and along the peninsula, right around that 60 degree mark. Uh, as we look to dew points, which I've been watching the past couple hours, I've been seeing them increase. And with, I, when, with that, the relative humidity has been as well. And so the story here, here is a satellite image of the Pacific Northwest and the system we're going to be watching that's going to be impacting us in the next 24 hours is right off the United States on the West Coast. And so what that looks like for us tomorrow is we see increasing clouds through tonight and then through the morning hours as we get into the afternoon, that's when we're going to start seeing a little bit more what looks like Yes, I'll say it's some rain. So here's our future cast. I'll put that into motion. And what you can see here, the rain arrives for us along the peninsula right around 430. So that late afternoon into that early evening uh, for us. And that system is going to continue to move south through the next couple days. And so that's something we're going to be monitoring uh, statewide uh, into Monday and Tuesday. But for tonight, what you can expect, increasing clouds, the coast not as cold, so we'll see temperatures in the low to mid 40s. Temperatures inland though, still right around that freezing mark, so frost is still possible in places like Greenfield, King City. You can see temperatures for tomorrow relatively mild compared to what we saw today. So a little bit cooler. We're going to see temperatures topping off in the mid to upper 50s rather than those low 60s. But here's a look at your eight day forecast. So what you can expect for Sunday showers. Those chances increase as we go into the evening hours. They'll linger on Monday. But as we get into the new year already, uh, things are looking rather bright. Our New Year's Eve forecast right now looking to be ranging 36 to 50. Cold but clear for the time being. So, And pretty crazy that we're so close to 2020. <laughs> isn't, that, isn't that crazy? That's so nuts. Well, thank you so much, Sydney.